Right, Paul, well, it must have been an, an odd couple of weeks for you. Obviously, you came in as youth team manager in the summer, you departed when the youth section collapsed, and all of a sudden now you're back as assistant caretaker manager. Football's a funny old world, isn't it? It's a funny old world, but I'm, ha I'm happy to be here, helping the club out. Happy to be here, and, uh, you know, we move on, we move forward, and hopefully we can get some wins on the table. What have you been doing since your previous departure from Mansfield? Well, I've been working in football. I've been working in football. I've just been playing for a team, playing for a few teams, actually. I've turned out for Worcester City. I turned out for Spalding, actually on Mansfield's pitch, so that was a bit of a homecoming. But uh, I've also been working in the in the college where you know, the, the job I quit in the first place to come here, so I managed to get my job back there. Did this call come a bit out of the blue? Very much out of the blue, but I've always kept in touch with with Dave and with Ross, so I've always kept in touch. You know, gave them some you know some pointers if they needed it. I just gave them some pointers, and they'll you know quick to offer them advice and just quick to see how the lads were doing. There's some fairly big names being mentioned for the job in, in the rumour mill, but uh, obviously yourself and Russ are in charge on Saturday. Do yeah. you have ambitions of making this a longer term thing yourself? Well, definitely. Why not? Why not? It's, it's a chance and you know, we, we would like to, to get the job and the chance of getting the job. I mean, the players responded to us really, really well on Saturday. I think you could see that. But, you know, two, two big names as well is uh, Russell and Hall. So why not? <laughs> How easy has it been to get the players to uh, respond to what you've been doing over the last few days and uh, maybe reorganise them in a different way? Well, they're, they're a good bunch of boys. They're a very, very good bunch of boys and they all want to do well. And when you've got a group of players like that that all want to do well and they're all pulling in the same direction, I mean, you saw it at full time the other day. They all got themselves, we didn't tell them to do that. They got themselves in a big circle, a big huddle and gave themselves a little team talk. They knew that they could do it. And when you've got team players like that, you don't have to say much. you just got to organise them, put them into shape and then send them out. Is it an odd feeling not really knowing what's going to be happening next week or the week after? No, you've got to live for today. You've got to live for today. There's no, no point in thinking, oh, you know, in two weeks we could be out of a job because you can't affect in two weeks' time. You know, if we could live in the future, then you know, I'd get tomorrow's newspaper and get, get the lottery numbers. Mm. You know, so it's not, it's not about that. What we've got to do is we've got to concentrate on the training session today, training session tomorrow, the match... Then next week as it comes, let's try and see if we can put our best foot forward. Let's just try and see if we can go out there, get three points, get Mansfield in the deserved position where we really should be. What's the injury situation for Saturday? Most players fit now? Yeah, most of the players are, are back. Um, Marriott, he's, he's obviously had his hernia, a relapse of the hernia, so he's had an operation. Uh, Carl Nix is, is out. And... Um, Sandwith. Kevin Sandwith. Uh, Kevin Sandwith is... Uh, Got a virus, so he's off today. So we've let him, um, don't let him spread that virus to the other players, so we'll give him a day off. Are you enjoying working with Russ? Of course, I love Russ. I mean, I worked with him at, at Warsaw way back in the day, it's when Telly was black and white, I think. But uh, I worked with him way back in the day, and Russ, is, he knows what he's doing. You know, he knows what he's doing. He's a good, he's a good lad. He's, he's, you know, he's been in the army before. He's got that regimental discipline. He knows what he wants, and he gets it out of the players, to be fair to him. Um, for him to step in to, to football and do what he's done, you know, it deserves respect. And Ross is a very, very, very good friend of mine. Also, you know, he's, a, he's a valued colleague. I look at him professionally in, in, the, in the same way as I would look at anybody else. Well, Paul, um, as a senior player, I suppose you've probably seen it all before, but quite a, a shocking week last week. David Holdsworth suddenly gone on Thursday. Yeah. Um it's like you say. I've, I've seen it before. It's football. I'm afraid it's uh, people. People come and go with the jobs, but it's it's down to us to uh, to really sort of stick in and in training and uh, and start getting some results. Obviously, David Holdsworth was getting some stick from the supporters, and results haven't been good. But did the players have any inkling that it would come that quickly? Um, it's not something I like to comment on. You know, it's a, it's the chairman's decision. He, he's, he's got the club. He he wants to take the club forward, and and, and he's and he's made that decision. So it's. Um, we, as players, we can only go on the pitch and, and, and try and get results now. With the situation, with you being just one win away from the playoffs, I would guess the players want a decision as soon as possible on a new manager so you can really get yourselves going again. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's, it helps. It helps the players to know which which direction we we're going to go in and uh, and how we're going to play. And, and, and we've still got a large large chunk of the season left, so um, I, I can feel amongst our lads that we, we can do good things this season. We just need to. We need to know now which way we're going to go. After scoring so many goals early doors, I guess your uh, recent injury problems must have been very frustrating. It was, yeah, but um, I was only out a couple of, I think it was two games, and I was back on the bench, so um, I'm, I'm fighting fit now, so it's behind me. Um, these things happen in football, so just got to make sure I stay fit at the end of the season. 
This coming weekend, Wrexham away, very, very difficult place to go, and they seem to be uh, getting some results together at last now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Wrexham's always been, uh, since I've played, Wrexham mainly been a league club, so um, they've got a big fan base. It's, it's similar to Mansfield, where the club can really take off. It's uh, a good ground, and it'll be, be, be a good day to go and play that.